Yo, what's up everyone? And welcome to another Silver Talks video. Um, today, I'm going to talk about some of the games that I'm worried about in Q3, Q4 of 2022. This is a follow-up to my last video, which is of games I'm excited for and hyped for. So you should go check that out if you haven't seen that. So you get an idea of the games I'm looking forward to. Um, we're just going to... We've got about five games here. That I'm kind of worried for because I said in the last video there's not a lot coming out this year that I'm really interested in but these five or six games are ones that I'm kind of looking at but I'm a bit I'm a bit worried about them so okay let's um let's get into it first we have Sonic Origins and now this looks like for one thing I think the package is overpriced it's like 35 pounds and the amount of microtransactions is absolutely crazy. Like I just, I looked at the, the PlayStation 5 store and the amount of, of like currency you can get and the amount of different bundles of it, that's just a bad sign. And like, like features that should be available in the game are cut from the game, clearly cut from the game to be sold as like DLC and shit. And that's just not right. So hopefully they decide to change that because that's just, you can't do that to Sonic. Like, microtransactions, really? In, like, a console release? Like, of Sonic. Like, come on now, it's Sonic. Like, classic Sonic games. I don't know how they've managed to, like, you know, get microtransactions and shit in there for, like, classic Sonic, but... Whatever. Like, they need to... F they, they need to, f to fix that and change it, because that's just... That's just out of order. Like, I don't agree with that. Alright, Saints Row. Now, I haven't enjoyed a Saints Row game since Saints Row 2 in all honesty like where it's Saints Row 2 was like the last like semi grounded Saints Row game I know there's like ridiculous shit but like 3 4 and onwards it got so out there that it just it border it's borderline sci-fi you know what I mean I, and I don't like that um I'm really worried about like the type of humor this is obviously me personally really I don't think the new Saints Row is my kind of humor it's very modern humor very you know, what I like, social media, humor, TikTok, stuff like that, that type of humor, and I'm not really for that. And again, I think I'm seeing a lot of, like, crazy over-the-top elements, like, ridiculous over-the-top elements, and I'm just not really about that. So, I might play it, but I'll probably check out reviews, check out some gameplay, and see if, you know, I think it's worth playing for me personally. Lord of the Rings Gollum. Now, this game has the potential to be something special, I think. I believe this is by the Styx developers. Um, you know, the game where you play as that goblin, like the stealth action game, action adventure game. Yeah, that. I think it's by those devs. And from what we've seen so far, gameplay-wise, which we haven't seen a lot, by the way. We haven't seen a lot of gameplay for this game, and it's out this year, apparently. But um, the performance was a bit... There's some hella slowdown. In the latest tra in the latest gameplay, I think it was the latest gameplay, um, and also how is the gameplay going to be interesting enough to like carry the game? Because with Gollum, like, well, there's not exactly much you can do. Like narratively, you can do stuff with Gollum, but gameplay-wise, I feel like it's just going to be sticks with the Lord of the Rings skin. That's what it, it comes across to is to me, and I didn't enjoy the sticks games in all honesty. But I like Lord of the Rings, so I'm kind of at a crossroads with this one. I'm, I want to play it, but I'm, I, I don't know if it's gonna maintain my interest for like a whole playthrough. Uh, Marvel's Marvel Midnight Suns. Now my main concern with this one is just the the gameplay, the combat. I believe it's turn-based, like tactical combat. Um, my main concern is them. Is them keeping the the combat consistently engaging and fun, which is a big thing with turn-based games. The battles need to be, you know, the battles need to be engaging and fun consistently throughout throughout the experience. And also, there's like it's, it seems like the the battles have like a card-based system to them. Like your abilities and stuff are played out with cards. And I'm not too fond of turn-based tactical games using cards as a system with your abilities and stuff i've never really been into that like um but i could give it a try i'm probably gonna wait to see some more of the battle gameplay and know how the the card system works but um 
that's my main concern with Midnight Suns is like the, that card based tactical system is it going to stay engaging through like, like throughout an RPG experience which is that's always a thing with these oops, there's always the things with these turn-based RPGs is that they've they've got to be consistently engaging and um, they've got to they've got to be interesting like the encounters need to be interesting for the game to do to do well and for the combat to carry on through Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 no I enjoy Call of Duty I like Black Ops I do like the new Modern Warfare, Cold War. I'm not too fond of Vanguard, really. I don't really like Vanguard. But my main concern with Modern Warfare 2 is the same with every single card game, is gameplay variety. And I'm not on about loadouts, I'm not on about weapons perks, I'm not on about that. I'm on about core gameplay mechanics and features that keep that are gonna be new and engaging. Because each card game is essentially the same gameplay wise the way you like the the legacy the the way your experience from each card will carry over to the next like it's pretty much you know everything's the same everything gameplay wise is the same maybe perks are different but gameplay the way you play essentially has stayed the same and what i would like to see is some you know some new and interesting gameplay features that will make call of duty engaging again then um, because I, I i like card but it's like i want i want to see something new not just the graphics because the graphics look phenomenal in modern warfare 2 graphics look great but um it's this the gameplay it's like is the gameplay gonna hold and bring something new to the table that will keep the fans engaged because obviously people are going to play card you know anyway it's so popular people are going to play it but some new innovative gameplay mechanics i would really like to see in modern warfare 2 and the last one, which is my main one, which is um, Gothic, Gotham Knights. Now, we have a few things to do with this game. Um, first off, last gen versions being cancelled, so PC and next gen only. That is concerning that so late in development that they would cancel those versions. And then even in the gameplay they've shown, there is still heavy performance issues. Mainly huge drops in FPS, which should not be happening at this stage of development. Especially if you're showing next gen and PC gameplay. That shouldn't be happening. Like, film it again. Like, fix it and film that section again. Because that's just not... It's not a good thing. Uh, gameplay variety, again. I mean, is each character going to be unique enough to, like, for you to be incentivized to play multiple characters? I already know I'm going to play Nightwing or Robin. But um, Red Hood's gameplay looked trash. Like, very, very bad. Like, it looks so boring compared to the other three characters. That, like, why would you play as Red Hood? Unless you're into, like, that mid to long range combat. Which seems weird in an Arkham game. You know, a game with Arkham combat. It's a strange choice to make. Like, very strange. Also, is the open world going to be engaging? Is it just going to be checklist? You know, checklist open world. Where there's the main story. And then there's, um, you know... Go do this enemy base, clear out this, take them down this, you know, and then it's just per zone of Gotham. You've just got these check mark like objectives to complete and, and just, you know, just work your way through with your mind off. I'd like to see some interest in side content, like some actual, maybe well thought out quests, side quests. Because this is an RPG now, we do gain levels and experience, we can build our characters the way we want to. So there needs to be engaging side content. And also with farming. Um, are we going to be mindlessly farming materials for upgrades? Because this is a bad problem with open world RPGs in this style with gear systems where you need to mindlessly farm over and over and over and over and over again. And some people like that, but that's going to be a bad thing. Um, and also microtransactions. We don't know anything of if there's going to be any microtransactions or anything yet. Um, I would hope not because I do think this game is... It does look promising, but it could fall flat. It could heavily fall flat. And I do not think there should be microtransactions in this game. I, I think it would kill it. I think they should just focus on making a solid um, a solid open world RPG set in the, in the Batman universe. And I hope they do that. And I hope the performance is fixed. And I hope the open world is engaging and fun. Like I really do. It needs to be. It really needs to be. And that's it. 
like I said, there's not much coming out this year, and those are six games that I've uh, I, I've looked at, but you know, I, I'm I'm worried about them. But we'll see, we'll see. So thank you for watching. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of games, what games you're maybe worried about this year that you look that you're interested in, but you just you know you're not sure if it's going to go well or if the game's going to be good but you are interested in it nonetheless um join the discord got a link to the discord down below in the box follow me on twitter and also we stream every single day on the channel um we're going to be starting silent hill tonight so that's going to be interesting i've never played silent hill once so this will be a first playthrough of silent hill one and i think i'm going to play bloodborne again soon so that'll be fun as well yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.